Tonight with that, our continuing coverage of that five alarm fire in Huntington last night. It started at Huntington Motors and quickly spread to the Blair House. You can see from this video, crews were on the scene well into the day trying to put out those flames. All that's left now is the shell of what many considered their home. Now take a look at what crews found when they arrived on scene. Our cameras captured this video shortly after midnight. More than 50 crews and 200 volunteers flocked to the 200 or the 600 block of Penn Street to help. 59 residents lived in the building and had to be evacuated. We're told there were two minor injuries and everyone was out of the building within 20 minutes. Huntington Motors, where the fire began, was still open through the pandemic and we're told no one was inside at the time. We continue our coverage with Amanda Lee. She joins us now live from Huntington County at the scene. Amanda, what can you tell us is the latest there? Is it still an active scene? Amanda, well, uh, it's still 11 o'clock at night. Well, it's it's pretty late, so they've obviously been here a long time. You can see them behind me still putting out the final hot spots. Um, they said that they were here earlier. There were a lot more people here earlier, and they were still putting out uh, they were still putting out some hot spots. But they came back, and the smell of smoke is within the air all around us. Now I've been here for about 10 hours, and folks have been coming in and out and just taking photos of what's the last pieces of this building. But fire officials say that this building's days might be numbered. For almost 20 years, this was home for hundreds of people. And on Tuesday, firefighters say they put out its flames once and for all. The first and second floor were heavily involved in fire and uh, quickly spread to the third floor. 58 residents uh, evacuated. Late Monday night, flames quickly spread from Huntington Electric Motors to the top of the building. The residents inside were rushed out within a matter of 20 minutes. A large part of them had to be carried from the building by the firefighters. We're told two had minor injuries, but everyone was able to escape. It was terrible to see all that. I have relations that live in that building, and thank God they got them all out. And it couldn't have happened without the 200 people, including more than 50 fire companies from five different counties, who made sure residents were safe and tried their best to follow COVID-19 safety guidelines. They did a fantastic job of uh, helping a lot of people, and no doubt probably saving lives. But while they were working on fighting the fire at the one end of the building, they were working on personal safety at the other. Some residents went to stay with family, and others were taken care of by the Red Cross. And as for the future of the building... The building, the structure itself, looks like it's ready to uh, uh, crumble down. Uh, we decided to go ahead and initiate uh, the perimeter, things like that, and uh, started calling in some resources. Code Enforcement Officer Morris tells us that an engineer is scheduled to come by tomorrow and make the final decision. In Huntington, Amanda Lee, WTH.